I generated this YouTube video by AI. I linked up Pictory AI with ChatGPT, which then created this video right there, which is currently already ranking number three here on YouTube for this specific keyword. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can start building videos by solely relying on AI tools. With that being said, let's get this done. So first of all, we must have a video that we can make. Now, I must admit this does not work perfectly for any kind of video here on YouTube. If you want to go down the entertainment kind of route, it's still pretty hard to get very good videos done with tools that are currently available. However, if you want your videos to be more focused on the information, then Pic3 AI with ChatGPT can be a great solution for you. What I'm going to do in today's video is share with you how you can get a video done like this, the 10 best things to do in Amsterdam. If I click on this video myself, what you'll see here is that this video is going to be a bunch of clips lined up about specific parts of Amsterdam as well as a voiceover. So what I'm going to do right now is build out a full video like this. We're going to use Pictory AI for the video editing and ChatGPT for the script writing. I'll leave a link to Pictory AI in the description down below so you can get started for free in case you like this. But first of all, let me explain how you can get this done with ChatGPT. So here's what you should not do. You should not say, write me a video script about things to do in Amsterdam. This does not work. If I click enter, yes, it works in terms of it's going to generate a response. However, the response that it's going to generate is not going to be that long as well as the information is not going to be as good as it can be. So this right now is going to generate more of a like general kind of thing what you'll see right here. So I'll let it go. But after this, I'll share with you the prompts that you should give it to give it a bit more in depth information. And it's done. So this is what it currently looks like. We have opening shots of whatever it is that they want us to feature in the video. So for example, the Amsterdam canals, the Rijksmuseum and a Frank house, the rental shop, blah, blah, blah. Now all of this is good, but the information on these specific topics is not that long. So what you should then do is either make different prompts. So what you can now do, for example, is take all of this right away. And then you want to put it in a new document. This is important because if you want to use Pictory AI, it's best if you put it into a document Now you can leave it with the weird background color. It doesn't really matter. And what you can do next up is give specific prompts to ChatGPT. So for example, right now, put together a script about the Amsterdam canals. You can say, write me a video script about the Amsterdam canals. Please include how this was built, what you can do here as a tourist and nearby restaurants. You can see right now I make it much more specific and then because of that, it's going to generate a much more specific in-depth answer. As you can see, welcome to Amsterdam, the city of canals. Amsterdam's iconic canals are blah, blah, blah. And then as you can see right now, it's going to continue to write stuff about what I asked it for. As you can see here, it's going to write about how you can experience the canals in many different ways as a tourist. For example, a canal boat tour, which is exactly why I put in as stuff for tourists. And right now, it's cutting to a Dutch pancake restaurant on the canals. As you can see right now, the prompts that I give are more specific and then the reply that it gives me is much more specific as well. So what I can do right now is take all of this scroll down and then use this in the script. And then you can do that one by one for each of the things that it's set. So I'm going to remove this. I'm then going to paste this and there you go. You can see this is much longer already. Now, this is basically how you would go about building out the full video structure. So next up, I would have the historical buildings. So then I could say, write me a video script about the top three historical buildings in Amsterdam, what you can do there, how it was built and nearby restaurants, for example, right? If that's what you want to feature in a video, 
that's how you do it. You hit enter. And then once again, it's going to generate that whole response based on what I just put in. Now I'm going to leave this for now. You get the point. You can build out a full video by using that strategy for each and every single point. You can do that with any city, any country. It doesn't matter as long as you use the right prompts. So don't just say, write me a video script. Be very specific about what you wanted to feature, the history, why it was built, what you can currently do there, the nearby restaurants, whatever it is, simply put that in as a prompt and then it will give you the full response. So I can then take this whole part again and it's still generating just like that. I can copy it, I can then put it in my script and then I can get that going. Now for now, I'm gonna show you how it works with the current script that we have. So I'm just gonna say Amsterdam things to do, just like that. I'm going to go to file and click download. And this is very important because you need this for Pictory AI. We're going to download the file. There we go. And then if we go to Pictory, you can go script to video. What I'm going to do right now is simply copy the script that we have here. Now I did some planning before using the strategy that I just explained and GPT came up with this little script right here. So what I'm going to do right now is copy this. I'm then going to go to Pictory AI and I'm going to paste this. And there you go. That is step number one for generating a video out of our current script. What I'm gonna do is enter a video name, things to do in Amsterdam, if that's our video. And then what you wanna do now is very important. You don't wanna use it like this. If you click proceed now already, your sentences are gonna be too long and the individual parts of the video are gonna be way too long. So what you wanna do is do this right here. Do sentence by sentence. First of all, it's gonna be better on the video as well. And the voiceover that you can generate through Pictory is gonna be much better as well. So as you can see, did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice, a red light district that's both fascinating and controversial, and the football clubs have been dominating Dutch League for decades. So this continues to go on. Now you can do that with your entire script. What you can then do is click proceed. First of all, you have to choose a template. So they've got lemon, corporate, red ink, sunrise. Scroll down, you'll see many different templates available. I like a basic one because I don't believe that most templates are good for video content. So the one I always use is right here, subtitle yellow. Very easy to recognize for the people as well as no distractions, no crazy stuff going on. If you then select that, it is gonna generate our storyboard. Now the storyboard on Pictory AI is basically your script and this means they're finding the clips to match up with what your script says. You'll see this in a bit. I'm gonna wait for this to be completed and then I'll get back to you. All right, and there we go. Our storyboard has now been generated. Now, as you can see, I did not do anything. All of the clips that are currently lined up here are automatically chosen by Pictory AI. Now they use storyblocks.com in the back end to link clips together. So storyblocks usually cost $30 per month just to get storyblocks. So that's a pretty good deal. With Pictory AI pay plan, you get storyblocks included without any watermarks. So that right there is already a good deal. What I can then do right now is I can start building out my video. So if I'm not happy with this clip in the background, I can go to visuals. I can type in anything that I wanna link. If I want Amsterdam, it's already chosen based on the script, but you can also type in individual keywords and you'll get clips that match up with that. If I want this clip right there, because it's about the canals, I can click here and you can see that our video is then gonna change to that specific clip. If I wanna change the text, I can do the exact same. I can click, I can change the color, the size, the font, I can make it bold. I can do anything I wanna do and anything that you would expect a video editor like this to be able to do. I can also change the placement, as you can see right there. If you don't wanna apply that to every single scene, you can click right here. But I'm just gonna put this down in the middle because that looks the best, that's what people are used to. And it also makes sure that you can see the actual video in the background. So what I can start doing now is I can start building out my entire video line by line. So I can click here, click there, click there, and I can start putting clips as well as pictures that match with what is being set. This clip actually fits pretty well, the red light district, which is a bit blurry, which actually fits well with the image of the red light district. Then I'm gonna click here, and the football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades. First of all, I'm gonna change the size to 26 so that there are two sentences instead of three, easier to read. Then next up, what I'm gonna do is go to visuals. I'm gonna go to my uploads, and you'll see that I've already uploaded a picture of the Ajax football team. Now you can do that by just downloading any picture from Google or any picture or file that you have on your laptop. You can click here and then you can upload that. Then select it 
and it will be added to the background. Now, as you can see, we currently have some space on the right side as well as the left side. What you can do is go to settings and then click on visual zoom and pen. And there we go. We just got rid of that space. This looks much better. Then once you've changed that, you simply go scene by scene and you can start building out your entire video. Now you can see that sometimes the clips are good, sometimes the clips are bad. You can also see that what I said in the beginning is exactly why you should split up all of these sentences. You can see this is way too much text for someone to read. Now how do you fix that? Is there a way to still fix that? Yes, there is. I'll show you how you do it. So first of all, you simply select the part that you want to keep in this specific scene. I'll keep, but here's the funny part. And then I'll select it right there. And then you can click on split scene right there. And then you can see that our scene now, but here's the funny part. That's the only thing that shows up. The clip is not good. So what I'll do, I'll go back to Amsterdam and select a nice clip of Amsterdam. I'll go with this one, a nice boat on the canal. Perfect. And then I'll go back to story and I'll go back to this one. Legend has it that the garage is so massive and then I'll keep it at massive just like that and then I'll say split scene just like that type a few dots perfect this one let's see if we can make this better if we put it on 26 or maybe even 22 okay still not so I'll keep it here split scene perfect I'll change this back the sizing to what it was I think it was set to 32 perfect I'll get rid of the comma just like that. Perfect. Now what you'll notice now is that every single clip is the same. You can see the clip starts playing again and again and again. That is because this used to be one scene. Now what we have to do is click right here, unlink scene, unlink scene, and unlink scene. And now these are back to individual clips. So if I go to scene 9, I go to visuals, and I change this, you will see that scene 8 and 10 and 11 are not the same anymore. Perfect. So now I can start changing this scene by scene. However, I just added clips that are not very matching in terms of what it says on the text. You can see it's the garage and this is not a garage, right? So what we do, we go to visuals, uploads, and then we upload a picture of the garage. I got this one from Google. I then once again go to settings, I zoom in and there you go. Perfect. Then I go back to story. Some people have gotten lost in it. So what I would like to see there is a clip of someone in a maze or just someone lost in a garage maze and then you can go through the clips here so this clip right here looks kind of cool this one as well yeah this one looks very good okay so I'm gonna select this one and there we go if I now click preview for this clip this is what that looks like all right cool perfect context for what is going on here that is great and that is how I can start building out my entire video all right so we now have that full video built what we can do then is go to audio First of all, they'll automatically select background music. So if you don't like that, click on audio settings and then turn that to 0%, just like that. If you want to add a voiceover, you can either upload this yourself. So you can do it yourself um, with your own voice. You can pay someone to do this. You can use other tools like Murf AI, for example, which is a software tool as well. I'll leave a link for a full platform tutorial video about that platform in the description down below. It's a tool that allows you to generate AI voiceovers. but Pick3 AI also has this built in. The thing is, these right there, US English, are not that great. What I use myself is this one, Ayanda, which has a South African accent, but trust me, this one seems pretty good. I've actually used that to make this video right here. So if you click apply, let me go back to Pick3. If you click apply, it's automatically gonna sync it with the clips, and then we're done. So we have just generated a full video with Pick3 AI as well as ChatGPT, and there you go. Now it's time to download it. For that, go to Format. Make sure that this is set to 1080p, which you can only do on a paid plan, by the way. I currently have the Pro plan. Click Video, and it's going to download. Keep in mind that depending on the plan you get, you can either get X amount of videos done or minutes generated, as well as the quality level. I'll leave a full platform tutorial for Pick3 AI in the description as well, in case you want to check that out, as well as a link so that you can get going with a free trial on Pick3 AI. I will now share the result with you, and that's it for today. Amsterdam, the capital city of the Netherlands, is located in the Western Netherlands within the province of North Holland. Along with The Hague, Amsterdam plays a significant role in the governance of the country. 
with The Hague being the location of much of the Dutch government. While Amsterdam is the economic and cultural heart of the country, famous for its artistic heritage, Amsterdam boasts an elaborate canal system and narrow houses, with gabled facades that serve as legacies of the city's 17th century golden age. The city is widely regarded as one of the greatest small cities in the world, and its museum district is home to world-famous attractions, such as the Van Gogh Museum, the Rijksmuseum, and modern art at the Stede Lake. Due to its extensive canal system, Amsterdam has minimal road traffic, and visitors will find that their destinations are never too far away. Cycling is an integral part of the city's culture, and there are numerous bike paths that you can explore. With its picturesque canal network, rich history, and vibrant cultural scene, Amsterdam is one of the world's most unique and fascinating city destinations. If that helped you out, leave a like on the video, comment down below if you've got any questions or anything else that you want to see with AI softwares, and then I'll make that as well. I'll see you in the next one.